Our, uh, one, of, one of our colleagues in, in, in the company who became a manager and is now a man who spoke here recently, Cormac Tobin, uh, when asked by somebody in, in, our, in our company, um, you know, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to look after the customer? Do you want me to make a profit? And he says, you've got to be a juggler. You've got to keep both those balls in the air, plus a whole lot of other balls as well. So that's the, the real, if I have to leave you with one, just one message today, and that is the boomerang principle, everything you do is aimed at getting the long-term customer and getting the customer to come back again. And I think that's, that's an essential part of what, what, what we attempted to do. And if you can instill that in, the, in, in everybody who works in the company, then it, you achieve a huge amount. There's a, the, the second one is how do you instill that in everybody? How do you find out what the customer wants? And uh, we, there's a lovely Irish phrase, a shanakal from school days, you may remember, Aist, Aist la fum na haon mar tu isk. Listen to the sound of the river if you want to catch a fish. And so we set up a listening system, a system in which everybody in the company was to listen um, to see, can you find out what the customer wants? And I remember you, you mentioned that when I became chairman of Unpost, and I tried to, to, to do, instill this into some of the senior executives in Unpost, and they said, Fergal, you don't understand. We did all that. We, 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 we started on the shop floor, there, you know, uh, delivering the mail or behind the counter or whatever it is. Now we're the executives. We don't have to do that anymore. And I said, yes, you do, because the water in that river changes all the time. So the, the, the needs of the customer that are different today than they were yesterday, certainly different than they were last week, certainly different than they were last year, and they're certainly different than they were 20 years ago when you started. And it's, it's an amazing impact of being close to customers and of having the effect of a customer grab you by the lapels and say, I hate this or I love this. And that's why one of the most important elements of getting customers to, to even talk to you and, and tell you what you want is to make sure that your own people enjoy it. And so the importance of a smile is just an imperative aspect of almost every business. How do you manage to get people to smile? How do you manage to make sure that they enjoy it? So one of the things we did was that uh, I set up a customer panel in each of our shops. Now, the difference in this was I sat on the customer panel. It wasn't delegated. And when I went in, and it meant I came into the Monday morning executive meetings each week having had the experience of customers who grabbed me by the lapel and said, I hate the way you do that, or gave me a big hug, which didn't happen all that often, and said, I, I love the way you do that. But it, it meant that coming to executive meetings where the boss was listening, it's what I call is listening from the top. Whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're right. I believe that we in Ireland have the chance to do things. We've got to believe in ourselves. We've got to be convinced that we can convince everybody in our team our people that we can achieve it. I believe if we believe that and if we show that we trust people, that we've confidence in them and that we instill in them the same objectives and the same willingness and wish and, 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 and belief in ourselves, then I think we can win.